There is so much drama here. Things are fine with narcissists as long as we don't try to have an actual conversation. We can make fun of Miss Thief because she's, she's insane. I don't use that word lightly. And I, I know one scene who's known it since birth from other people. This is, there's just way too much drama. The thought of spending the rest of my life in a nursing home, in a, in assisted living, it's really depressing. But my case manager's on it. Yeah, it'll probably be another year, but at least there's an end in sight. I still don't think I've offended any of the staff. I still think that all of the staff actually love me and know me well enough to come and say to me, hey, you offended me. And I would say, hey, I'm sorry. And we would talk it out like adults. I still think I offended the director and she's hiding behind an invisible staff. And Narcissist is a known liar. And she still chooses to believe his word over mine. And Miss Thief is a known liar. But the director still chooses to believe that Miss Thief no longer smokes in her room because she said she doesn't. But I smell the cigarette smoke. I know she does. She has oxygen in her room, so awesome. But there's no evidence that she smokes in her room besides my word and the fact that I can smell it. And no one else can smell it. Because by the time anyone else gets back to our little corner, she's stolen sprays from enough people to use an entire can. So, Narcissist and Miss Thief are both known liars. And the director knows this and still chooses to take their word over mine and devalue me as a human. Well, it's not a problem for anyone else, so it's not a problem. Just being in a home, I suppose, devalues you as a human. Yeah. I can't do this for 40 more years.